My beloved children, hear these words and take them to heart, for I wish to share my heart with you on this day. I have seen the longing within you for greater manifestations of my power and glory upon the earth. I know the desire burning in your spirit is to see my kingdom break forth through signs, wonders, and miracles beyond anything experienced thus far. This longing is born of me and comes from my very throne room. I place the seeds of divine expectation deep in your inner self, watering and nurturing them through my Holy Spirit living within you. Even now these seeds are maturing and beginning to burst forth with sprouts of faith, hope, and anticipation for what I am preparing to do in and through you. Take comfort, my loves, for this is not a fantasy. No, it is my solemn promise for what rapidly approaches just over the horizon. I am kindling fiery passions in the hearts of my remnant to ready you for a blazing move of my miraculous power that will surpass anything witnessed since the early days of my church. Now is the season of preparation where I am calling to the depths of your spirit, awakening holy hunger and thirst to see, my glory covering the earth as the waters cover the sea. This consuming fire of desire for more of my presence and power is intentional, my child. For truly, I am raising up a company of believers who will stop at nothing to see the fullness of my spirit outpoured across the nations in these last days. Recognize that there is a profound purpose behind what may seem like unusual or unexpected experiences in your life. You are being called to embrace a unique journey, one where you'll find yourself capable of remarkable acts that might seem extraordinary. This path is about becoming a channel for positive change, an individual through whom compassionate actions can flow. You will discover the ability to bring about healing and wonder, not through grand gestures but through simple acts like kind words, a comforting presence, or the influence you have just by being there for others. Such a life of residing in the manifest presence and glory realm will result in even your human shadows being saturated with healing, anointing that lingers upon you. Even shades and silhouettes shall drip with the tangible substance of my love and power. This will cause dramatic healing, deliverance, and salvation miracles to happen spontaneously. The days of New Testament-style signs, wonders, and miracles are not only back upon the horizon, but are dawning even now as I speak these words to you. Can you feel the fresh breeze of my spirit beginning to gain momentum and blow more forcefully through your life? If you listen closely with the ears of your spirit tuned to the frequency of heaven's sound waves, you can hear the sound of my revival winds blowing even before you behold the shaking and transformation. My awakening gusts will bring across cities and nations. The invisible workings of my spirit transcend the natural senses and intellect. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of my spirit. For truly, my beloved, my Holy Spirit is moving in fresh waves which no natural mind can predict or control. Yield yourself fully to the unpredictable, uncontrollable, and utterly supernatural stirrings of my mighty rushing wind and watch what I will do through willing vessels of faith and pliable clay fully surrendered to my hands. The sound of my supernatural healing and delivering grace is gaining crescendo, rising from a gentle whistle to start rumbling as a mounting roar just over the horizon of current events. Rejoice and take heart, for it is the Lion of Judah roaring. No power can stand against me or halt this heaven invasion from transforming you and your regions from the inside out by my glorious appearing in and through my consecrated ones, the burning ones, my set-apart wild flames of fire and love. Indeed, a time is approaching when those who are deeply committed and spiritually connected will experience a profound sense of empowerment and purpose. This period will be marked by an ability to positively influence and uplift those around them. Through compassionate actions, strong faith, 
and a spirit of service, remarkable transformations may occur. Simple gestures and sincere words will have the power to bring comfort, hope, and joy to others. This will be a time of strong community bonds, where acts of kindness and support create a ripple effect of positivity and well-being, celebrating the power of unity and shared belief in doing good. And yes, indeed, these words affirm something I have shared with some of you in the most intimate moments, in the secret place of my heart. As I draw you in close, I can reveal that your individual breakthrough, the healing you've been steadfastly believing in, is not just for you. It has never been solely about enhancing your own life or for your personal blessing. For you see, my children, there is a deeper purpose when I allow some of you, those faithful and trusting, to experience affliction or weakness for extended periods. Even as you pray and believe for your miracle, there's more at work. Often it's because I am preparing through your situation for a significant moment. This moment, a public harvest event, is designed to yield lasting impacts, reaping eternal dividends long after your time on this temporal earth has passed. There is such a spectacular release of my glory and power through both the individual and community breakthroughs signs and wonder manifestations, that a massive global harvest of souls will soon come rejoicing into my loving arms. For as the eyes of families, neighbors, friends, and strangers see my obvious intervention upon your weary and worn frames, recreating and transforming you before their very eyes, their jaws will drop in awe and exclaim, this could only be the work of Jesus himself. Yes, there will be profound changes and healing moments. Those facing physical challenges will find new strength and joy, perhaps in ways they never imagined. Those who struggle with their sight may experience the world in brighter, more vibrant ways. Those with hearing difficulties might find comfort and guidance in the subtle, gentle moments of life. And for those carrying deep emotional wounds, where no ordinary remedy seemed to reach, there will be opportunities for healing and wholeness. The pain of the past will begin to fade, touched by moments of profound peace and understanding. Before your amazed natural and spiritual eyes, barren wombs will open and lifeless bones will shake, rattle, and burst forth with resurrection life. Just as my word prophesied through my prophet Ezekiel, the world will stand in awe and wonder, having no option but to proclaim. My majesty, might and mercy as both the first world shrugs in skepticism, while third world children lead the way in humbled faith. Yes, indeed, I am confirming this right now to all hungry, thirsty believers who hear my voice. There is a remarkably glorious day approaching, one that will emerge suddenly in the world. This day awaits believers who have devoted themselves to prayer, praise, and a pursuit of holiness. When heaven's profound glory and miraculous power are released, there will be a sense of joy and liberation. You will experience a feeling of freedom and renewal, like carefree calves in a pasture, rejoicing in a new life that is free from past afflictions and limitations. Can you sense it, child? That subtle hint of a coming change, a time when even medical science will acknowledge something beyond its understanding. Think of moments that seem to defy the ordinary, like facing challenges with unusual courage or finding peace in tumultuous times. Listen with your inner spirit to these words. Let them comfort and encourage you, healing past disappointments and nurturing a resilient hope. These signs are like a promise of what's to come, a hope that will soon emerge after a period of diligent waiting, longing, and praying. Now is a special time, a moment of significant change, and I am affirming this to you. Be attentive to the possibility of personal growth or witnessing widespread positive changes, as if they are just outside your door. So, I encourage you once more, in line with my teachings and promises. Ask again for a renewal of spirit, even if you've sought it many times before. 
invite a new wave of understanding and compassion, hoping it will spread far and wide, much like the profound experiences of Noah and Moses. I assure you again, this vision of renewal has its own time and place already set. Even if it seems delayed, wait for it patiently, rejuvenating yourself with the inspiring stories from Scripture and the experiences of others on similar journeys. For it will come not a second later than the perfect time meant for a significant shift in the world. Therefore stay your gaze fully upon my beauty and grace, my beloved. Behold my smile of love beaming approval upon you. With absolute assurance hold to these words as covenanted promise of my appointing. You shall no longer be called forsaken.